And we're back again with another GTA 6 video, guys. And this one we'll be talking about just a few things. I got screenshots. I got you know, a couple things to share with y'all, including some really kind of pathetic things that, you know, people are posting. But, um, yeah, we're going to be talking about those things, including some other stuff. But make sure, guys, do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do turn post notifications on as well. You know, we've been pushing hard heavily on the GTA 6 videos, and we're going to keep coming and just to find real needs and stuff like that, not just, like, click-based stuff. So, anyways... If you haven't watched the video, make sure you watch the last video before coming to this one. It might be connected with what we're talking about. But recently, we have been seeing a lot of things happening, especially with these people. I mean, everyone is talking about some of the most faultiest, saltiest, I don't, I don't know what faulty is, but saltiest things ever, man. And this one is obviously some factors in the situation where people are just like putting information that's not even true. You know, they're, they're making videos, they're making um, fake screenshots and labeling it GTA 6. Oh, is this GTA 6? Oh, is that GTA 6? And then we have more pissed off people, more pissed off fans, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, with what Rockstar has said, or take two, let's just say, they were talking about GTA 6 and they were talking about that there's no evidence that any material sets were taken, which is a good thing. And certainly the leak won't have any influence on development or anything of the sort, but it's terrible terribly disappointing and causes to be more vigilant on matters relating to cybersecurity. The leak footage did include like, you know, open world gameplay and stuff like that, even the alpha build of GTA 6. And they did obviously confirm that, you know, there was reports of the game taking place in Vice City and it features female protagonists along with Jason, of course, another male protagonist. Then they said it was a huge slowdown for GTA 5 because of GTA 6 leaks. And it's been crazy lately for them. They only sold 170 copies. And I'm sure they were supposed to sell like a lot more copies than what they did for a 90 year old game. But hey, whatever, you know. But then we have this uh, Twitter account here that's pretty cool. He only posts real stuff. And, you know, it's it's actually one of the first ones that I've seen that actually posts real things that are actually good. You know, none of clickbait, nothing like that. So go follow him, guys, if you guys want. And then we have something that, you know, we need in GTA 6, which I'm sure we're going to get something like this, where you get to call a armor truck with filled with like ammunitions and stuff like that which is pretty cool so gt6 probably we have something like that coming another thing we have is we have something going on here where somebody's found something with, with the funko pops that has gt6 vice to lucia and it has jason and hudson and burger shops mascot and everything it has geico or whatever but anyways guys that's that's kind of i don't know that seems fake to me honestly feels like it was just printed and put together but why would they sell GTA 6 Vice um, Funko Pops? It just doesn't add up. You don't even know yet, and they don't even know what it's going to look like. All I personally would love to have a Lucia one, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to cut it there. Anyways, guys, we have another one here. So if you're getting some kind of message from a fake Rockstar Games, you know, um, Twitter account, whatever, people are sending these things out, it's fake. Don't believe it. You know, you probably get all hyped up and everything else, but they were saying, like, they're, they're welcoming to inviting you to a 2D 3D artists to collaborate in creating characters for our upcoming game GTA 6. As a 2D or 3D artist, you will create amazing, adorable characters for our greatest game. But adorable, what? Adorable. Our expectations for the candidate online, blah blah blah. It's fake, guys. People are out there just making fake accounts for Rockstar Games, You're just trying to hype everybody up, man. Trying to get invited and stuff like that. And I don't know. It's just really weird. Then we have this guy named Dylan. Of course, he's posting these weird little things where. He's putting GTA 6 on his Xbox library. And as you can see right there, there was a video on it, but I'm not going to put it in there, you know, obviously for reasons. But yeah, he put GTA 6 on his album cover, whatever it is. Um, and it's just really weird. So I don't know what he did. He probably did some, probably just put a picture, but it was an actual video. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that's obviously fake. So don't believe it if you see it, guys. You know, there's just so many things, guys, that we've seen. That is just fake Photoshop. It's it's even on videos. He was just posting weird, weird things that we just it just doesn't add up, guys. So if you see stuff like this, don't believe it. If you are kind of aware of things, man, just drop by the video, check it out, and you know, look for the stuff that I put out because I try to look out for everybody in the community, man. And that's just how it is. But if you guys find this video informative, give it a super thanks. Make sure you guys you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do turn post notifications on, and do comment on the videos. I gotta, you know, we gotta talk about these type of things. If you see something else, make sure you hit me up, send it to me on DM, on Twitter, whatever, and I'll check it out myself and do a video on it. Tune in for some more videos, man. I got you guys. It's the Nancy P1. Signing out.